Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. And so, oh, other way, <laughs> uh, strength is going to be what we're going to do in September. Um, yeah, so you're going to need um, a belt or a yoga strap or even um, a, a scarf that doesn't have any stretch in it. And then you're going to need tins of tomatoes or little weights. And some of you already bought the, the wrist weights. And so if you have wrist weights, you can wear those. And uh, yeah, strength. Um, yeah, I feel really excited about the prospect of getting strong and a little bit more resistance in the yoga. Um, yeah, I, I have this feeling in me of, yeah, just a little bit something more. Um, so today, dun, 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 hold on a moment. Sorry. So today uh, we're gonna start on the floor come into downward dog cat poses, come up to stand, do a little bit of balance, I think. <laughs> so come lie on the floor and we shall begin and let's see what we do. Um, it's the basis of what we're gonna do today is twists, uh, spiraling into the rib cage. So come, come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent and your feet are flat on the floor. And just check in. Have a sense of the back of your body as it rests on the floor, that sense of contact, the back of your hips as they rest on the floor, that feeling of contact. When you feel your shoulder blades on the floor, do they feel even or are there different parts of your shoulder blades in contact? When you feel your elbows on the floor, do they feel the same or different? When you check in with both sides of your neck, how does that feel? Nice. So bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. And then stand your right foot on the floor, okay? And then bring your left knee back up. And then drop your right knee, left knee out and then back up. Mm, there was an easier way of explaining that. So bring both of the soles of your feet to the floor and then drop your left knee out to the side. And as you do that, let your pelvis follow the left knee. So left knee out to the side, let your pelvis follow. You can bring your arms wide, left knee out to the side, let your pelvis follow. And as my pelvis follows, the right leg, right knee, right buttock is being lifted or rocked up towards the ceiling as I do this. Nice. So bring your right hand to the front of your head and then roll over towards the left and then come back. So I'm holding onto my forehead with my right hand and roll over towards the left with that elbow and then come back. Roll over. Come back roll over and come back nice and then do the left leg falling out to the side and roll your elbow towards the left come back up left leg goes left right elbow goes left come back left leg goes left right elbow goes left and come back and see if they can happen together if the left knee falling and the right elbow traveling can travel as a unit so now we're going to do them separately okay so as your left leg drops out your right elbow is towards the right and as your left knee comes back up your right elbow goes left so you're doing opposites so as your leg drops down your elbow falls to the right and as your leg comes up, your elbow travels towards the left. So you're doing, it's like you're opening the door and closing the door in opposite directions with your elbow and your knee. Nice. And now do both of them together again. Left leg out to the left, right elbow to the left, come back up. And just feel that. Nice. Come back to center. Other side. Let your right knee fall out to the side. Let your pelvis follow. Come back up to center. 
Right knee out to the side, let your pelvis follow. Come back to center. Right knee to the right, pelvis follows. Back to center, one last time. Right knee to the right, pelvis follows. Back to center. Bring your left hand so it rests on your forehead and then roll your left shoulder elbow as much to the right as you can and then come back. Left elbow to the right. Coming back, left elbow to the right, and coming back. So both of them together, left elbow, right leg, travel to the right, come back, left elbow, right leg, and back. One more time, left elbow, right leg, and back. Now you're gonna open and close the doors opposite. So drop your right leg down, and then as you draw your right knee up, let your left elbow travel. As you open the right knee out, let your left elbow drop. So just feel you open and close the doors in different directions. Nice, and then go back to both moving together, both towards the right, come back both towards the right <laughs> and come back Whew. oops daisy i'm lying on the floor just pause wow my neck and shoulders really liked that super bring your thighs together draw your right knee up towards you hold on to your right knee with your left hand and let your left leg float in the air just above the floor nice and then draw your right knee over towards the left and keep your left leg floating and then back to center right knee to the left and then back to center right knee to the left and pause so my left leg is floating my right arm is lighter on the floor but i'm really trying to keep my right shoulder on the floor and i'm finding the point of balance that i'm giving some resistance to that right leg with my left fingers and i'm breathing deeply into my belly if it feels too intense, just drop your left leg to the floor or keep your left leg floating. How do you get wider, bigger, fuller here? How do you expand more of yourself into this? Nice, come back to center. Stretch both legs long. Other side, draw the left knee up towards you. Hold on to it with your right hand. Lift the left, right foot off the floor, and then over towards the right with your left knee. Come back to center. Again, if it's too intense or too strong, drop the right leg to the floor. One more time and hold it. Left knee over towards the right, dropping that left shoulder down, deeply breathe into your belly. Give some resistance to that left leg. When I guide it in the direction that I want you to go and it goes, oh, that's right. I'm going that way. <laughs> Super, come back to center. Have both arms long and just shimmy your spine a little bit from side to side so that you're flat on the floor with your spine. Have your knees directly over your hips. Thighs together, knees together. And then just rock this from side to side. And keep your knees over your hips. So it's different when we draw our knees up towards our chest. Keep your thighs together as much as you can. Pause for a moment over towards the right. And then over towards the left. Nice. Turn this into gliders. So drop the left leg down, draw the right knee up, and then travel back through the center with your feet floating. Drop the right leg down, draw the left knee up. So just feel how you do a floating glider through the center. Maybe even straighten out your top leg so that you're kicking towards your hand. 
So it's like the football version of gliders. Kick your top hand or top foot towards your hand. And just feel how deeply you can kick. How do you extend deeply through your legs? Nice. Next time your leg travels, whichever way it goes, pause there. You can have your legs straight or your knee bent and just breathe. That opposite shoulder. So my right leg is underneath. My left leg is on top and it's long. And my left shoulder is trying to come to the floor. I'm sinking more and more down towards the floor. Nice change. Float kick over towards the other side. And again, my top shoulder is sinking and deepening towards the floor as I extend into that top leg. You can have your knee bent, of course, or you can have your leg straight. Nice, come back to center and just pause. Nice. So stretch your right leg up and hold on to it. Pull it down towards you. And just breathe into your belly. Plans have changed. <laughs> We're going to focus a little bit more on this lengthening of the back of our legs. So lengthening into the right leg, pull it down towards you. Breathe into it. If you can hold on to your knee, your calf, your foot, your toe, do whatever feels is the most available to you in wellness. Drop your shoulder a little bit deeper towards the floor. Stabilize there and then let the left leg travel. So let the left leg travel out long and then bend it up towards you. Left leg travels long, bend it up towards you. Leg travels long, bend it up towards you. One more time, stretch it out long and pause. So really sink into both of your legs. The right leg is up towards the ceiling. You're holding on to it. The left leg is lengthening out long. And even bring the left hand to the front of the left thigh and let the back of your thigh, the back of your knee, sink a deeper towards the floor. change. Bring your right foot to the floor, stretch your left leg up towards the ceiling, pull your leg down towards you, opening into the back of the knee, opening into the foot, draw your toes towards you. Hold on wherever you hold on, back of the knee, back of the calf, foot or big toe. See what suits you, what you do, how you do this. And breathing into it, settling into it. And then let your right leg travel. Draw your right knee up and lengthen the right leg long. So as I do that on this side, I feel the resistance in the left leg as I travel with my right leg. I'm like, wow, so interesting. I love the way we're all connected. Letting the right leg travel. And the right leg travel. Nice. Next time your right leg travels out, pause there. Right leg long, hand is on the front of your thigh. Really settling deeply down into your spine, into the back of your body. Nice. Bend both knees, squeeze them both up towards you. And just move into butterfly knees. So knees widen, knees draw towards each other. Knees widen, knees draw towards each other. And then roll in the other direction. So your spine is staying 
straight. So you're not rolling like a clock, you're rolling your knees individually, like they're rowing a boat. Nice. So draw the right knee up towards you, hold on to it, and then draw your right knee out to the side. And just pause there. You can, if you want to, stretch out that right leg and hold on to the ankle, the foot. You can put a shelf underneath your leg by bringing your right elbow to the floor and holding on to it with your right hand so that your leg is resting. Or you can hold on to your big toe and pull. Let your left leg travel. Out with your left leg. Mm, draw it in. As you travel with your left leg, you're trying to bring more and more of the left side of your body to the floor. So I'm anchoring down, really connecting into the back of my rib cage, the back of my left hip. And all the time you're deepening into the length of the inner thigh on the right. Next time you lengthen out through the left leg, pause. So either your right leg is bent or your leg is straight. And now anchor really deeply down through the back of your body. Breathing into your belly. Drop that right knee more and more, keeping the left hip anchored. Connecting into your heels. Another deep breath. Nice, come back to center. Cool, bring your right foot to the floor, draw your left knee out to the side, pause there. You can keep your left knee out to the side or straighten out into that left leg and hold on to either underneath the knee, underneath the ankle or the big toe as you wish. And now let the right leg travel. And as your right leg travels, you're anchoring down to the back of the right side of your body. So even though your leg is moving, you're keeping your awareness to the back of the ribs, the back of your waist, and you're trying to give it weight down and back. Nice. Next time you lengthen into the right leg, bring your right hand to the front of your right thigh, anchor even more and lengthen. Really connect into your heels. Nice. Draw both knees towards each other. Squeeze them deeply down. Hugging both knees in. Pause. Nice. So last movement, interlock your fingers. I thought we were going to do all kinds of other things, but this is where we've ended up. So interlock your fingers and then rock your left hand down towards the floor and just pause there. Nice. And then try and reach further, release your hands and try and reach further with the right hand and then bring the right hand to your elbow. Go further. Elbow further and I'm keeping my top arm straight so I'm actually rolling on and off my left shoulder and there's a deep sense of moving into the back of my ribs on the right and we are massaging the left side. One more time and pause in the reach. Nice, keep your arms in the same place, drop your knees down and then back up to center. Down, back up to center. <laughs> Down, back up to center. Great, come back up to center with your torso. And then other side, interlock your fingers, drop down towards the right side. Release your hands, reach further with your left hand. And then come back to your elbow. Further elbow and just feel 
that rolling of the right shoulder on the floor, that deep movement of something in the back of the ribs on the um, left. Mm, reaching, rolling. Next time you reach, pause, reach as far as you can. Nice, drop your knees down to the right and bring your knees back up to center. Knees down to the right, back up to center. Knees down to the right, back up to center. Cool, come back to center, bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart, hands on your lower belly. And just feel the sense of what's the movement of your belly, the aliveness of your belly in this moment. Lift your knees slightly, let them drop. A bit like a butterfly flying. Lift your knees slightly, let them drop. Or if you want to, you can arch your lower back and flatten down. And this, it'll also move your thighs. Arch into your lower back, flatten down. Arching into your lower back and flatten down. Nice. Stretch your legs long, bring your arms long beside you. Hmm. So now when I feel my two shoulders, two hips, they're more similar today than what they typically are. All those weird twists was really good for the interioception, the proprioception, my connection to my ribs and my shoulder hips. Very good. Nice. That's super. So stay there. Pause for another moment longer. Nice. So I have, um, I have a seminar on today. Some of you I'll see this morning around half nine or so. I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Um, some of you I'll see, oh yeah. So some yogis gathers on the beach yesterday, nothing to do with me, they were going for a swim. And they were talking about, oh, was it you who did gale force? It's <laughs> like, oh, was it you who had a sinus infection? And then somebody said, why? Why did they talk about South Africa all the time? What about Naknakara? So I'd just like to honor all my local yogis. Um, all you guys who go swimming in the morning, all ye who, yeah, who do the most awesome, amazing things around here, you know, who just connected to this place, this land, to this yoga. Um, so yes, Naknakara, Salt Hill, Spittle, Furbo, Barna, Connemara, Aran Islands, Boffin, Mayo, uh, Westport, Clare, Kinvara, Newport, no nuki. Um, yeah, it's quite amazing. It's really quite amazing how many yogis on the west coast of Ireland there are. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow. Two more classes left in Spiral, and then we're on a break until the 1st of September. Um, how cool. Great. And uh, if you weren't here at the very beginning, I'll show you what we're doing um, in September. It's called Strength. Dun, dun, dun. You're going to need a yoga strap or a belt and tins of tomatoes are in weights and we're just gonna we're gonna get juicy and yum um <laughs> so great um thanks for joining me as always it's such a pleasure to be here and uh yeah rock on be cool be great be you ciao